I mean, of course, it's a division game. We know how important these division games are. Uh, all the great coaches that I've ever had always talk about every time you win, the more and more you win, the bigger the games get. So I think this game is bigger, if not bigger, than the rest of the two games that we just played because at the end of the day, we beat this team. Obviously, we get more ahead in the division and puts them you know, a little far back. So uh, this is a huge game for us, in my opinion, a must win. These games between you guys, it's always like so physical. What is it about that aspect that just, it seems to elevate when you guys take the field? Yeah, because I just think both teams have the same philosophy. They want to run the ball. They want to be physical. Um, and I think, you know, Vrabel's kind of talked about it. They just We're built the same way. They have a really good offensive line. Their running back is really good. I feel like they they view their running back 28 just how we view 22. Uh, Derrick Henry, they want to run the ball. They want to be physical. So uh, we understand this is DBs. We got to put our big boy pads on, get ready for receivers and tight ends trying to crack blockers, and we got to be physical in the run game. What's the challenge of trying to – Allen Mahomes attempted a lot of passes. Wentz has not been attempting a lot of passes. Right. It's going to be important to stop the run. I'm thinking if we don't stop the run, it's going to continue to run the ball. Um, and I think that's that's our number one key this week is stop the run and uh, just make them earn everything. Uh, looking at a lot of their touchdown drives, they're coming off big plays or big penalties, pass interference down the field. You know, number 11, Pittman's playing really well for those guys on those 50 50 balls. So we just got to make them earn everything and stop the run. I think if we can do those things, we'll be successful on defense. Yeah, obviously 28 is their bell cow. You know, they're going to try to run the ball with him as much as possible. But we know when 21 is in the game, more than likely they're trying to get him the ball. Uh, they might not give him the ball every single play, but he's usually the number one target. Uh, so just understanding, the, the, you know, the personnel and even the receivers. We know 14, Pascal, who's been here, uh, he's a really good blocker. So he might be – I've even seen – they've seen flash him in the run game to be a lead blocker. So that shows you how much they think about him as, as a physical receiver. And obviously we know Pittman's a down the field guy uh, making those 50 50 balls. So understand the personnel. Uh, I mean, we play this team a lot, but just understanding who these guys are. When you was so banged up the first game that you played him and he was just basically, anytime the rush came on, he was just chucking the ball away. Can you even get an accurate depiction of, of him from watching that or do you have to go and watch the last two or three weeks and see? Yeah, I think you got to watch the last few weeks. I mean, honestly, I give him credit. He's, he's playing really well for those guys. Uh, he'll still give you some opportunities, you know, for some turnovers and things like that. But, I mean, if you look at his stat line, he has 11 touchdowns and only one interception. So that lets you know that he's keeping his teams in games and, you know, allowing, you know, their philosophy, their run game and the play action pass to, you know, to, to win ball games. So, you know, I, I think, when you like you said, when you look at the game, they only won two straight. But, I mean, they got up on Baltimore. Obviously, they ended up coming back. So they've been playing pretty well. So uh, we have to go out there and make sure we start fast and, like I said, stop the run. How, what's the keys, though, on, on stopping Taylor? Is there any – what do you have to do specifically? And, and having Derek, that experience, does any of that bleed over in, in taking down Taylor? Yeah, no, I mean, obviously they have – a. Similar running styles, I mean, but they're definitely downhill running backs. I think we just have to get multiple guys to the, to the run game. Uh, we can't just think that one guy is going to break him down. we got to get two-plus tacklers on him. Uh, and let's not get him going. Uh, I think if he can get downhill, uh, I think Vrabel kind of talks about it with Derek a lot, you know, get him to his fourth and fifth step and stuff like that. If you allow Taylor to get to his fourth and fifth step, man, he can take off. I mean, you see Derek get an open field and run away from guys. Taylor's the same way. So I think we just got to – Vrabel talks about all the time edge wall swarm, but I think it's more about the, the swarming aspect is very important because we got to get guys uh, to the point of attack. How tough was it last week for a guy like Greg Mayer coming in, even though he's got some background here? Right, right, right. Middle of the week, you know, he goes in, all of a sudden he's playing 70 snaps against the Kansas City Chiefs. What was that, what was that like for him and how impressive was that? Yeah, it was very impressive. I think that's one of the beautiful things about this league is that, you know, you never know when your opportunity is going to come. You can be on somebody's practice squad one week. Next week, you could be starting playing 70 snaps in the game and uh, play really well, in my opinion. So uh, happy for Maven. And I know how much you know he's been bouncing around, things like that. But I always know his mentality, he's staying ready for the moment. And he did a great job in his show. So uh, Vrabel talks about all the time. Uh, you know, you get opportunities in the game and you take advantage of opportunities, more than likely you get more opportunities. So excited to see him this week. Just taking a flyer on this one, but for a couple of weeks, your Twitter face went away. Yeah. And now it's back. I mean, no, I actually got hacked. I don't know what happened, and it's never happened before. I got hacked, and uh, I was out of Instagram as well, but it wasn't. I was able to get back in that one fast. But Twitter's a different platform, and they kind of had some some verification stuff they had going on. But yeah, I was hacked, man. I don't know how to happen, who hacked it, why they did it. They didn't send, you know, my followers or whatever a bunch of crazy messages, so I was I was safe on that route. You glad to be back, though? Yeah, absolutely, man. I love interacting with the fans and uh, 
you know, see what's going on in Twitter, Twitter world. Also unrelated uh, to the Colts, I remember like last week you tweeted about Derek, how Derek should be like a 99 on Madden. Right. I don't know if you saw, but they didn't give him a 99. I seen that game 98, yeah. Response to that. Man, I just, he's the best back in the NFL right now. And I'm not sure about this game or last game. I know Christian McCaffrey was a 99 or so. I don't know, he might be still be a 99. But I think if Chris McCaffrey's a 99, Derek deserves to be a 99 as well. I mean, he's he's the best back in the league right now. He's been the back, best back in the league for the past couple of years, in my opinion. So, uh, man has to, you know, they got to do what they need to do and make him a 99. Kevin, what is this defense starting to do? And, and you know, is this the defense playing the way you all thought you could play? And how much better can, can you all maybe be this year? Yeah, I think we're just playing with a lot of confidence, uh, a lot of swagger. Uh, guys are flying around, having fun, making plays. Uh, I kind of talked about it. You know, we just got to – Continue to eliminate those big plays. I think all our games this year, the games that we won, um, the games where we had success on defense, we didn't give up the big play, we made teams earn it. And uh, I think we have to continue that philosophy and obviously continue to get turnovers.